it's going to be a whole bunch of shit that's going to come up because you're hanging around people that you're not supposed to hang around. <laughs> What's up everybody it's your girl b octavia and i am back with another video now if you do not know me hello my name is b octavia i'm 23 years old and i'm from washington dc now today is gonna be call them out okay and what i'm gonna call out is females right i'm gonna tell y'all why friendships and you know certain bonds with females and me didn't last and why why i'm glad it actually didn't last you know and i'm also going to tell you what type of friend that i would be if i did have girlfriends you know so honestly in my opinion i feel like if you like having female friends you must like drama as well because it just come with it you know especially if it's more than two people in a friendship or in a clique it's honestly too much for me you know and for me it's always been like all right i'm cool with this person i'm all right with her and i'm not so cool with this person but she in it so whatever and what comes with that is bullshit you know if y'all a click and you hanging with somebody that you know that you don't have a good feeling about drama is going to come and it's going to come directly your way i've literally had female friends and it's specifically one that keeps coming to mind that i always had problems with and it'll be problems like for for example I'm in class talking to a young male, you know, and if you funny, I'm finna laugh, you know what I'm saying? Well, what comes with that is, me and this friend of mine, or associate, I should say, um, we in the same class, and I'm laughing at old dude, you know, saying what he's saying. Now, I get pulled to the side after class and get asked if i like this dude because she got her eyes on him what the fuck you know what i'm saying and what i learned from that because i kept having situations with this one girl what i realized was i'm not boy crazy like you so we can't hang together because we don't have the same mind going into shit like we don't have the same mind as far as talking to a dude and the progress that you make as time goes on you know that's how you have friends that's hoes and you you friends with them but people always gonna put it in association like you a hoe too you know i don't handle shit like that she give up the drawers fast that's her you know but you do have to separate y'all then it, it can't be like y'all still together y'all still hanging together that bitch boy crazy you know so she gonna keep fighting over boys she gonna keep arguing with different females over boys and if you know anything about cliques if she don't like somebody from another clique because of a boy then that shit gonna fall on me because i'm a part of her click you know what i'm saying i'm not with that a lot of that shit is by association and people start to get you fucked up because of who you hang with you know so yeah you know if you know that you and this person or you and certain people from your clique is nothing alike you know y'all don't handle situations the same um y'all not boy crazy the same like you may think a boy is attractive, but you're not trying to. Not trying, you're not thinking about no whole relationship and staying together for years and all that crazy ass shit, you know? And then as time goes on and you keep those same friends, you see. Like if you hanging with them, all of y'all gonna get fucking arrested. You know what I'm saying? Just off of her crazy ass. All of y'all gonna have to fight. Just off of her not liking somebody because of a boy. You know what I'm saying? It's just a whole bunch of bullshit that come with it and why i'm glad that i don't really have many 
girlfriends, you know, girls that are friends, is because as we get older, you just start to see, like, if you a strong young woman or if you not, depending on the situations and shit. And don't you know how people will update you about what's going on in their life and all that shit? They got a crazy ass dude, for example, right? But they like that shit. Nigga, you could be over their house chilling and then he come in starting some shit that she like, you know? And then it's this whole thing and you are just sitting in the middle of this shit. Like, it's been a lot of times where friends of a female, you know, they get caught in some shit, in some domestic shit that turns very deadly very fast. And what happens if it's another person in the apartment? That's another witness, you gonna get hurt too. I'm just not into that, you know? I'm not into all of the drama like we as kids in the inner city it's been a lot of drama since elementary school so by the time you in your 20s you should be really over it but if you're around people that's not over it and that still want to create shit then you're never going to get away from it you know and you always going to be in this revolving door of bullshit you know whether it's you having a fight and arguing with a person that you feel like is your friend nah if y'all friends it shouldn't be no arguments all the time sure friends have blow-ups and then they get it back together but sometimes in situations like that you really see you know, this ain't my real friend. This ain't no, this an associate. You know what I'm saying? Curry it like that. Period. I'm not the type of friend that's just going to keep answering them type of calls. Like, you stressing about a nigga. He cheating on you, but you going back with him. He beating your ass, but you going back with him. Listen, I'm not in that, and I don't even want to be involved with you. You know, it's all of what you allow. And if you hang around me or I hang around you, that means that I allow that shit. I don't allow that shit. If you keep going back and keep going back, it's something that you like, you know? So... I'm not the type of friend that's going to keep answering those calls. One day I'm going to get mad, answer, and be like, so what are you going to do? You know, what are you going to do? Don't try to involve anybody else in your shit. Don't do it, you know, because it's the worst thing that you can do. You bringing other people into a death trap that's trying to help you. Don't do that. Because ain't nobody going to be there every time. It's going to be the number of people that support you throughout that shit is just going to dwindle and dwindle and dwindle. If you got girlfriends and that shit works for you, good. But I know me, you know, and I know what personalities I don't mesh well with. We might can hang together, but that don't mean that our personalities mesh well. And we shouldn't hang together if our personalities and everything just don't link up. Everything don't make sense. If you keep coming in contact with troubles with this person or people in your own clique, it's time to separate yourself. That's what I did from elementary school on if you want me to be honest with you in elementary school i was hanging around with a few females that i really wanted to hang around you know i felt like they was cool they was funny and they was the most popular and for some reason i thought that you know me being associated with that would get people off my back from you know, making fun of me about what I didn't have. But when I realized that those very people in my own clique was talking shit about me to my face about what I don't have and making me the butt of every joke, I realized, like, I got to separate myself from everybody. And that's what I did. And I don't regret that. I feel like that was the first milestone of me becoming who I am today, you know, because you have to. These the type of people, like, if you steady be around those type of people, they never going to stop making fun of you, you know. You never going to be good enough. You never going to be good enough. So hang that shit up, you know, 
even if it's this huge idea that you got that's going to make you, you know, so happy, make another plan because it's not going to work out. Anytime you got somebody you interested in, they're going to swoop in and take the focus right off of you. You know, it's going to be a whole bunch of shit that's going to come up because you're hanging around people that you're not supposed to hang around. So, yeah, protect yourself, protect your energy, know yourself. Know what you want to allow. Know what you don't want to allow. Know what personalities mesh and mess with yours, you know. It's about astrology, but it's not. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, don't be around nobody that is going to hold you down. A lot of times, let's just be honest. Friends hold you back and hold you down in the worst way, you know. And I'm just going to leave that at that. So... If you are a female and you got a lot of friends and just be conscious, be aware, please, because it can save your life. It's your girl, B. Octavia. Thank y'all for watching yet another video and I will see y'all in my next one. Make sure that you subscribe, hit that bell. Don't forget to hit that bell, okay? Don't, don't forget to hit that bell and I will see y'all in my next one.